Did you know that Canva has an app that lets you create painting animations like this? Yes, they also have an app that can turn your sketch into a photo similar to this. You can even colorize old pictures and bring them to life just like this. And in this video, I will show you the best Canva apps that will turn you into a creative superpower. App number one, Image Upscaler. Go to the app section on your Canva homepage and look for it. This app will upscale and enhance your blurry images into clear and crisp photos. Open it and you will be asked to either upload an image from your computer or choose one from your design. So we can upload a low-resolution photo like this fox. Choose the upscale resolution from 2x to 16x. The first two options are free, while the biggest size are for Canva Pro users. I will click on upscale and wait for a few moments. Click on add to design and I can upload the original photo for you to see the difference. You can see the before and after of this photo, and the new image is now in high resolution, which is more quality than the original one. App number two, Type Cutout. This one will place your photos inside text. We've always used hacks to do this on Canva, but it's way easier with this app. You will first type the text you want at the top, like this skyscraper. Choose a font you like, then choose the image you want to place behind the text. After uploading, you can edit the placement of the image in the text to show the subject you want and click on Finish Editing. Then you can add it to your design. I will enlarge it like this, and while it doesn't show the effect properly, we can add a black background behind it to make it appear better. The next app is Colorize. As the name suggests, it can add color to old photos and black and white images. Open it and you can either upload an image from your computer or choose one from your design. Click on Colorize Image and wait for a few moments. I can upload the original photo for you to see the difference. And you can see that it does an amazing job while also changing the tie and background wall color. Canva has many cool frames in their library, but there are many instances where you will want a specific frame to add pictures in and you are limited to what they gave you. But with apps like FrameMaker, you can create custom frames to use in your design. We can search for frames in the Apps section and click to open it. You can click and drag any of the points to move them as you like. You can also double-click on a particular space to add a new point, and you can also remove any of these points to create a geometric shape. Click on Add to Design to place it on the canvas. You can then find a picture to paste and drag on it and replace the frame. You can also double-click on the frame and resize the photo just like you want. They also have an option to convert a photo into a frame, but that's for their pro users, so we can go back to the apps section and click on image to frame. This one allows you to do the same thing for free, so we can find a car photo from the elements tab. I will scale it down and then click on convert image to frame. This will load and give us a car frame which we can place any photos into. We can place this photo to replace it and double click on it to resize it. That looks cool but we also have another one called AI Frames. This works with prompts, so I can input a simple prompt like a hut, then generate the frame. It's not perfect, but we have one of them that looks like a hut. The next cool app is Easy Reflections. This one will reflect your images, which will help you in creating cool looking designs. We can try it on this car and choose a position we want from these options. You can also tweak the offset and opacity, then click on Add to Design. Scale it as you like and reposition it to fit. You can then add background color and text behind the car as well as any other effects you wish. The next app is Magic Media. This one is very popular but now has some updates which are worth mentioning. You can input a prompt here, choose a style and aspect ratio, then click on Generate Image. This will give you four AI images for your design. We also have videos which also work the same way by giving it prompts. We can generate this and see how the smoke looks. It looks cool and we now have an option to generate graphics. You can choose a style you want and click on Generate Graphics. This will also give you four options and will be useful when you want a particular graphic that it's not available on the Elements tab. Other AI apps on Canva are the AI Avatar Generators and VoiceOver Tools. Just search for Avatar on the Apps section and you will find different ones to use. They all work almost the same way, as they will give you a talking head avatar with the ability to add your text, and they will read it out for you. The popular ones there are DupDub, DID Presenter, 
and HeyGen AI. For the voiceover tools, you just need to search as before, and you will also find a lot of apps there. Their quality may be slightly different, but most of them are perfect for narration and promotional voiceovers. The popular ones you can try are DubDub AI, WellSaid Labs, and Murph AI. I've tried them all, and they sound great. The next app is Coloring Book. If you are into creating children coloring books or Amazon KDP, then this one is worth trying. You simply need to input a prompt in the box and generate the image. I will enlarge this, and you can keep generating new ideas till you have a lot of pages for your book. The next apps are text and typing tools. First we have Typecraft. You have to input your desired text in this box, then choose a font below it. You can change the style and color, as well as mirror points. Then tweak the shape the way you want. This can give you a fish shape or a fruit shape, which will make your design look cooler. Add it to the canvas and you just have a cool text effect which is not possible on Canva without apps like this. The next one is Text Maker. This one has text presets you can choose from and add the text you want in it. You can also change the font and effects to fit your taste, then add it to your design. This retro design looks cool and as it says, please make sure to subscribe if you are enjoying this video. Another text tool worth mentioning is called Type Lettering. This one is similar to the previous one but with different templates. I will add my name and I can see that this will be useful for designing t-shirts and signages. Speaking of t-shirts and signages, another useful app on Canva is the Mockup app. You will know this if you are a designer as this is so important in showcasing design and creative works for clients. You can search for it on the apps section and choose mockups. Let's try a t-shirt mockup. Here I want to place this digital skull or text on it but I can't since it isn't a photo, but there's an app that can do that faster, which I will show you in a bit. For now, let's try a flower photo from the photos library. Drag it on it and wait for a few moments for it to be placed on it. You can see how cool this is. There are video mockups there as well, which include mugs, phones, and laptops. Let's try the laptop and place another flower in it. This is how it looks, and that's cool. The app I was referencing earlier is called Design to Image. You need to place the graphic you want on a page like this. I will scale it up to fill the canvas like this. And you can click on the page you want to export, then click on Export. What will happen is that instead of the page to download to your computer, it will be automatically uploaded to your Upload tab. This is very useful and will make your work faster. So I will drag it on the t-shirt and the laptop video mock-up. Also, you can double-click on the mock-up to scale and place the picture the way you want. The shirt looks cool and presentable. Then I will play the video, and you can see that this is really useful for presenting logos and websites. Have you ever tried to add a brand logo to your design on Canva, only to find that it's not available? For instance, I will search for the WordPress logo, and you can see that it's not there. What of the Microsoft logo? It is nowhere to be found. What about a popular social media site like Reddit? Their logo is not available. That's what this Canva app comes to solve. It's called BrandFetch, and it will look for any website logo for you to use in your design. So let's search for WordPress, and you will see different websites being suggested that include your keyword. I will choose the first one, and you can see the WordPress logos as they are on their website. It also includes the colors of the logo, which can also be useful. I will click on two of them to place on the canvas. We can search for Microsoft and we'll be able to use their logos which are in transparent background. What of Reddit? We can see it and we also have different styles of their logos, which will save us the hassle of looking for them on Google. I even search for my website, Digital Sculler, and it brings up my logos which is amazing. It has both the circle and rectangle size which I uploaded to my site and I can just use them here as well. The next app is Sketch to Life. This one will turn your sketch into a proper image. I will open it and sketch an apple there. Then I will describe what I want in the box and click on Generate. That's good, but we can try another sketch like an old hut. I will describe it as before and click on Generate. This is much better and will be useful to bring your ideas to life. Another cool app on Canva is Sketchify. This one is like an opposite to the previous one as it can turn photos into sketches. We can click on the old hut we just generated, then click on this button. Then after a few moments it will turn into sketches.
Speed Painter is the next cool app on Canva. It can be used to create whiteboard animation, explainer videos, and marketing materials. I will upload a board photo like this. Then on the left, you can choose the sketch duration and toggle the button on and off as you wish. Click on Generate, and after a few minutes, the video will be generated. I will click on Add to Design, and this is how it looks. That's quite interesting, and you can also build your page from scratch. So we can go for marketing materials here, and you will want to build it according to your script. Then we will use the Design to Image app to export and upload it on the Upload tab. I will choose the current page, then click on Export. I will go to the Upload tab and click on the picture. Then back on the Speed Painter, simply click on Generate. Then this is how it looks. The last app is Bulk Create. This is a cool app that can save you a ton of time. You can create designs like identity cards for your staff in bulk, and you can also create quiz videos in bulk. I've created many tutorials using this app, so click on this video to see it in action. If you learn one or two things from this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Digital Sculler. Drop your comment below, and thank you for watching.